Ever pondered why a group of flamingos is not just a flock, but a flamboyance? The answer is as fascinating as these creatures themselves. Flamingos with their striking pink plumage, slender necks, long stick-like legs, and a peculiar way of standing on one leg, are one of nature's most flamboyant creations. But there's more to their story than meets the eye. Their collective noun, a flamboyance of flamingos, is not just a random choice of words, it tells a tale that's as vibrant and intriguing as these birds themselves. To understand why a group of flamingos is called a flamboyance, we need to dive deep into language and culture, specifically the realm of collective nouns. Collective nouns, as we know, are words used to describe a group of persons, animals, or things. They emerged during the late Middle Ages in England, a time when English was evolving, and people took delight in playing with words. The term flamboyance comes from the French word flambe, which means flame. It refers to the flamingo's vibrant fiery pink color that looks like a flame glowing in the sunlight. But it's not just their color that earned flamingos this collective noun. Their behavior also played a part. Flamingos are social birds. They live in large groups, often in the thousands. When these thousands of flamingos gather and start their group courtship dance, it's a sight to behold. They twist their necks, flap their wings, and strut around in perfect synchronization. This performance is not just a dance, it's a spectacle of nature that's as flamboyant as it can get. So a group of flamingos is called a flamboyance because of their vibrant color and their extravagant, coordinated behavior. The term captures the essence of these birds perfectly, their dazzling appearance, their dramatic behavior, and their social nature. In summary, a flamboyance of flamingos is a testament to nature's flair for the dramatic, a spectacle of synchronized dance, and a burst of vibrant, flaming color. It's not just a group of birds, it's a performance, a spectacle, a flamboyance. So, the next time you see a group of flamingos, remember you're not just looking at a flock, you're witnessing a flamboyance in all its glory.